What's going on, everyone? I'm Hunter Dole here from Philly Insider Podcast. We've got some news. Kyle Gibson has signed a one-year deal with the Orioles. He will not be in Philadelphia anymore, and I think we are all we were all expecting that, and I think we're all glad about that. Look, great guy off the field. I really do respect him and, and the guy he is, and just the way he cheered on the team, even though he wasn't playing very much in the playoffs, and if he was, it was in garbage time that he came in a pitch. But, you know, I have a lot of respect for him, for the guy he is, but we're talking about the player he is on the field, and this year it was just wildly inconsistent, ranging from giving up four home runs in a row to the Cardinals to being perfect through, what, seven innings or something like that? So, yeah, you just can't deal with those inconsistencies, and down the stretch, he was really bad in September. I mean, it was it really took us out of some baseball games. You can't have guys who are taking you out of the game in the first or second inning. So, yeah, it had to happen. Look, for what he was getting paid, I, I thought he pitched, you know, I don't, I don't think I can say well. He pitched as expected compared to his salary over the, the course of his Phillies tenure, right? I thought he pitched well in 2021. You know, he wasn't perfect, but he kept us in ball games in that year. In 2022, you didn't know what you were going to get on any given day. I mean, again, like I said, it was just two polar opposites. But at the same time, even when he was, like, not terrible, he still wasn't that great for the most part. So, yeah, command suffered this year. I, I think he got a little bit predictable at times. He got hit around way too often this year. So, um, yeah, I'm glad he's moving on to Baltimore. Uh, you know, it makes a lot of sense to me. So, yeah, look. A lot, of, a lot of free agency news right now. Jacob DeGrom signed with the Rangers yesterday. Obviously, that's a big deal. Um, you had Eflin go to the Rays. We've had some movement in the starting pitcher market now. So look for some of those dominoes to start to fall. I'm going to try to get a video out on Jamison Tyone soon since that's a guy who was linked to the Philadelphia Phillies. And, yeah, look, Rodon is still on the market. I don't know if the Phillies will you know, go, go that competitive into the starting pitcher market, but you never know. I mean, they are willing to spend a lot of money this off season. Um, it would surprise me if they got him, but they were interested in him at the deadline. So don't, I wouldn't, wouldn't rule it out. I think it's going to be pretty hard to get done, but look, and you know, it's always possible. Um, and then, yeah, there's a number of other guys in the market too. So keep an eye out guys. I'll have some videos coming out, but yeah, like I said, we've got some movement in that market right now. So that's something to watch for sure. As you know, the shortstop market is still kind of quiet. Some of the other positional markets are still kind of quiet. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I'm personally perfect, perfectly fine with what happened. I think everyone else is perfectly fine with what happened. But look, I like Kyle Gibson as a guy. So um, I, I, you know, I wish him the best off the field and, and on the field uh, this upcoming year in Baltimore. So it's going to be interesting to see if we get a Gibson Eflin matchup in the ALEs. But thank you all for watching. Ring the bell. Go, Phils. We'll see you all later. Peace out. God bless.